In this video, we're going to unlock the best sword for PvP in Blast Fruits. But before that, you can show your support by using Starcold Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. Where the Ector slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. So guys, are you ready to unlock this sword? But before we do that guys, there are some requirements. First off, you need a Gads Chalice so you can get it from defeating elite bosses or every 4 hours from a chest, okay? 4 hours in the server. Next up, you need the 3 legendary hackies, the Snow White, the Pure Red, and the Winter Sky. If you don't have it, you can just ask some of your friends to do it for you, okay? So you're just gonna activate it here. So these are the areas. Last one for the Winter Sky is on top of this building, and that's it. Okay, so next up, we're gonna summon Ender, right? We're gonna go through the things that will happen because later, when you summon Ender, it will be foggy, okay? So first, you need to go to the Hydra Island. Look for the waterfall, so it's located here. Guys, memorize what you're gonna do, okay? It will be foggy later. There you go. Go through these waterfalls. Break the wall. There are some mobs here. They're, they're easy to defeat, don't worry. And guys, after that, face the wall that you just broke. Look to your left. Okay, so from the wall, look to your left. Jump. There's an opening here. Okay, so there you go, guys. So when you summon Indra, you can go through this wall once you summon him. You will be teleported in the Turtle Island. Let's go there, the Turtle Island. And you need to activate or turn on five torches. So from here, guys, you only have five minutes to do that. Again, you only have 5 minutes, so I'm gonna show it to you, all the locations. Just a reminder, you need to light the torches in order, from 1 to 5, okay? So here is the first one. Let's turn right, there you go. Okay, so after lighting this, go down. Just go straight, guys, to the other side. And you will find the second torch. There you go. This, the first two torches are easy. So here comes the tricky part. Guys, for the third one, it's on top of this pineapple looking uh, cottages here. So my technique here is look for the last tree with the pineapple. There you go. So once you find it, turn to your right. And the tree with the pineapple has the third torch. Again, guys, to the right. That's my mistake in the camera angle. But you should pick the one on your right. There you go. That's the third one. Next up, guys, you need to look for the boat. So just go straight. You will see the mushroom here and another mushroom. Go straight, you will see a wall. There's my signs here are the mushrooms, but later if it gets foggy, just go straight. Okay, you will find this boat. And this is the location of the fourth torch. For the fifth one, guys, it's kind of easy now. So guys, jump here. You will see this structure here with the blue roof on it. There you go. You just need to follow this path. Just go straight. Through this wall, there you go. Next up, the red one. After that, there's a house to your right. And that's it. After that, a door will open. I'm gonna show it to you. It is located here. Just near the first torch. So let's head to that area. That door will open and you will defeat a boss. Guys, just a reminder, you need to defeat it with 100% damage so that you will get the Tushita Sword. Okay, so here's the location. Okay, so are you ready, guys? First, we're gonna summon Indra, right? Here you go, Battle of Gods. One more tip it will be easier if you already defeated Indra because there are uh, warp portals, guys, teleporters, but we don't have it. So I'm gonna ask my friend with the door fruit again. Hydra Island, I told you guys it's kind of foggy now. So that is why I told you to memorize the area. There you go, waterfalls. Break the wall, okay, turn to your left, look for the area, and you will be teleported in the Turtle Island. Okay, you only have 5 minutes, so turn right, there you go, for the first torch, here it is, second torch, easy. For the third torch, again, look for the final tree that has a pineapple, and turn to your right, where is it? It is. There you go, guys. Turn to your right. That's it. Oops. <laughs> okay, jump. Uh, Z skill of the death step. And there's a third torch. Next up, guys. Go straight, straight, straight. Mushrooms, mushrooms. 
just straight, looks okay, we're near. There's the boat, okay, four torch. Okay, look for the blue structure, right? There you go. Next stop, the red one. Okay, turn to your right. And that's it. Okay, guys. So, well done. You may enter the hideout, but remember, we summoned Indra, so let's defeat it first. And we will come back to this area. Don't worry, the door is already opened. I hope that I get the Dark Dagger here. Let's go. Oh, by the way, we're using that step. So, it's really easy. And also, Goal Race V3 plus the Goal Mask for Lifesteal plus the best moderators in our Discord group. Shout out to the Shichibukais. Okay, so after that, you can unlock the teleport portals. Here you go. Instant access to Mansion and Hydra Island. Mansion, the Turtle Island. Okay, so now we're gonna head to the Turtle Island and get the Toshita Sword. And after that, we are going to show you the combo that has the Toshita Sword with it that made my friend Zion 30 million bounty. Okay, so here it is, the boss that you will unlock. You need to defeat it first. So don't, no worries. <laughs> we have the Buddha Fruit. Even if it's not awakened, we have the V3 goal and the gold mask. So defeating this will be easier. One on one. This boss is using the Toshita Sword. Okay, let's fast forward this. Okay, so now we've got the Toshita Sword. One more thing, one more requirement. Actually, two more requirements to complete the combo. You need the Asijum Rifle from the second C. You can get it from the factory. And you need the Electric Claw. So, you can get it from the previous hero. You just need uh, 30 seconds. That's a quest. Go to the mansion in 30 seconds. So, you can just ask your friend to use the Door Fruit. Or you need a Fast Fruit. Maybe the Light Fruit. Okay. So after that, go back to him. 3 million and 5,000 charge. You will get the e -claw. Okay, so now for the combo again for the requirements: Eclo, Toshita, Ashijum rifle. So here it is. Okay, here's the Toshita sword. Okay, guys, one more time. So I will activate my observation hockey. So he will cancel it using the Ashijum rifle. Oh, he's using also the door fruit. Ashijum rifle cancelled. Eclo. There you go. Boom. Toshita sword. Eclo. Boom, that's it guys. One more time in slow motion. So first he's gonna use X skill, door fruit, to surprise the enemy, Asib Jum rifle to cancel the observation hockey, then e claw to Shita. There you go. Boom, that's it guys. Okay. Okay guys, so comment it in the comment section if you think that Tushita is the best sword for PvP. And I hope that you like this video and you learned something again to so all the viewers, subscribers, supporters. I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom and Gamer Nom out.